Hello again, it's Eric, AC9BX. Today, playing around with SDR Sharp, looking at the FM broadcast band, and hunting for hidden signals. Currently, I'm looking at 88.1, a strong local station. We can zoom in and see the components of a broadcast station signal. From 0 to about 15 kilohertz is the mono audio. This is left plus right. At 19 kilohertz is the stereo pilot. This is a tone transmitted, so your radio knows the signal is in stereo. Centered at 38 kilohertz, twice the 19 kilohertz pilot, is a double sideband suppressed carrier, AM subcarrier, containing the stereo information, the left minus right signal. This was done for compatibility with older mono only receivers. At 57 kilohertz is the RDS or RDBS data information. This provides things such as title and artist, station identification, and other things that display on your radio. Here we can also see a signal at 76 kilohertz, four times the 19 kilohertz pilot, and it shouldn't be there. Some stations' output isn't as clean as it ought to be. The stereo generator should filter this signal out. In some cases, however, it's actually being created in the reception. In this area, we have an 87.7. This is not actually an FM station. This is a TV station. The audio for Analog TV 6 lands at 87.75 megahertz, receivable on some FM radios. Uh, they have actually tweaked this down a bit to 87.74, probably for better compatibility. Most of the time, the automatic frequency control in the radio will tolerate this being off a bit without difficulty. If we look at their composition, we can see again the mono content, the stereo pilot. But this time, the stereo is using only the lower sideband. This is something new, relatively new. It's intended to offer better sound quality and save some electricity, allowing the transmitter to be a little more efficient because there's less transmitted bandwidth. Uh, normally, this requires a special temporary authorization for an FM station. It's against the rules. But because this isn't an FM station, uh, doing so is acceptable. Now let's look at another station, 91.5. Here we can see the mono content, the 19 kilohertz pilot, but there's very little stereo. This is an NPR station. It's mostly news and talk, so there's very little stereo happening. Here's the 57 kilohertz RDS signal, but over at 67 kilohertz is something else, and it looks modulated. This is an SCA, Subsidiary Communication Authority or subsidiary multiplex, as it's known in Canada. These were once quite popular. They are used for station telemetry and monitoring, closed circuit services such as stock or market reports, and were once popular for retail store background music. Microsoft once used this in a service called DirectBand to transmit data to GPS devices and wristwatches and weather stations at home. This one is used for reading services for the blind, and with a second instance of SDR Sharp, we can listen to it. You need to feed one into the other, and you need a sample rate of at least 176 kilohertz. You can use a virtual audio cable supporting a high sample rate, or a physical cable if you have sufficient connections on the computer. I'm taking advantage of a feature on my sound card, allowing me to patch an output into an input. Then in the second SDR Sharp, I've chosen the sound card input as the source. Here we can now see the mono content. Sounds bad in AM, but in double sideband, it's good. I'll use the upper sideband. We can listen to the 19 kilohertz pilot tone. Here is where the stereo information is. And we can hear the 57 kilohertz data. We can also hear the 67 kilohertz subcarrier. The audio quality is rather poor. Yeah. 
Here's another, this time 101.1, but we can barely make it out. Well, instead of AM, like the last one, this subcarrier is FM. And here's another, this on 105.1. And this one sounds pretty good, with audio out to 7 kilohertz. Interestingly, this station is not using the 57 kilohertz RDS subcarrier. And there you have it, a little fun with SDR Sharp on the FM broadcast band.